In this tutorial in Tyler Pro, we're going to look at some simple steps on managing layers. You might want text in one layer and a different object either in front of or behind it. How do you control those easily in Tyler Pro? We're working in Tyler Pro 1.5. Mine came bundled with a copy of PowerDirector. If you have 1.0, you'll have basically the same operation. So in PowerDirector, to get to Titles, I click on T on the left side, and then I click on the down arrow for my subcategories and click on New Blue, and then I have my Tyler Pro. I'll drag it down into track number one and just lengthen it for fun. Now I'll double click on that, and that will open my Tyler Pro interface. We'll go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so we can see it pretty clearly. It says enter text. I'll go ahead and double click on it and do that. I'll just type this layer one. And so I have my first layer. And we have a track here called layer one. It's my default of eight seconds in length. I'll go ahead and click anywhere else with the left mouse. And it gives me another text. Notice it puts it above it. I'll put layer two. I'm going to highlight it again and we'll go ahead and we'll format that so it looks slightly different here. Now which layer is on top? Well, easy way to find out is to drag. I'll take layer 2 and drag and drop on top of layer 1. And we find that it is indeed on top. The rule in Tyler Pro is the layer that's higher up is in front of the layers that are lower down. So as they're stacked, imagine looking from the top down to the bottom. Let's take something else. Let's import an image here. And uh, I'll just take this picture here. And if I import it, it, unfortunately, the only name it will give it is shape. If I right click, there's no way to rename it. I have to remember what it is. But again, it, it automatically puts it on a top layer. If I want to reorder these and put the shape between layer 1 and layer 2, all I need to do is hold down with the left mouse button and drag and drop. And now shape is behind layer 2, but in front of layer 1. If I want it to be behind both objects, I just take and drag again. And now my shape is behind both layer 1 and layer 2. Let's take another image we'll import. Click this picture here. And notice when it imports, everything defaults to dead center of your screen. I'll take this one over here. And we'll move this one back here. So now we have in order, we have the, the, the uppermost layer, which happens to be this picture of the Sea of Galilee. And then we have layer two behind that, which is this um, fancy text. And then we have layer one behind that, the text there, and then we have in the very background the shape, which is this picture of the Dead Sea. And so we can layer these any way we want. I could take uh, the, the one on the top, the shape, and I can put that, say I want that between the other two, and all of a sudden that's what I have. My layer two is on the top, this shape is, on the, is second, the white text is on the third, and the background is the picture on the left. So that's a little bit about layering when it comes to working with Tyler Pro. Uh, start from the top, and then you go down through the bottom. 